Do you ever find yourself scratching your head wondering, is this cozy MMO game for me? Does the idea of a relaxing game put you off? Or is it the kind of thing that you strive to find? Well, look no further. That's because I've been playing Paleo for three months now, and I have a lot to share in this video. So if you want to be well informed on what Paleo has to offer, what are some improvements I think would help the game, then stick around, because this is my honest take. Yes, Palia. What is Palia? Well, the game is described as a cozy MMO sim in which you come into existence and quickly find out that all the humans were part of some disaster in the past. You make your way into the main village, Kilima, where you promptly meet the inhabitants and find your way to your very own plot. This is, however, the early game and you have only just begun your descent into darkness. Yes, I use the word darkness. Why, you may ask? Well, it's because if you allow the early game to wrap you up in silk thread, you will soon find yourself addicted to the game's pacing. At least, that was my experience. Now, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with the experience. I actually really, really enjoyed it. You soon find momentum in how to grow and succeed, and the rewards for doing so are awesome. You have great amounts of decorating at your hands, farm management, bug catching, foraging, mining, hunting even fishing, you name it. And it's worth noting, to advance all of these, you had better keep chatting with those villagers you see out and about because they will allow you to unlock upgrades for your tools, recipes, and more for you to use. So once you're settled, you'll be tending to your crops and mining those shiny star stones before you know it. Speaking of star stones, what are star stones? Well, star stones are one of the latest additions to Paleo through an update. When you go out and mine for resources, you would normally go out for your typical stone, copper, clay, iron or pallium. But now there is a random chance you will receive a star stone. There are a bunch of different ones and they are all amazing and shiny. And boy do I love my shinies. It's important to remember when you're out there mining to mine everything you can because there's always a chance that you're going to get a star stone. And they sell really well, especially if you can start to stack them up. And now to speak about my opinion so far. We have covered the early game, the importance of speaking to the villagers, your skills to upgrade and your daily tasks. I mentioned Paleo's pacing got me earlier and I meant it. I do honestly believe that the beginning feeling of Paleo is well-rounded, easy to digest and rewarding. I also love the addition of star stones and how these offer more to players by simply doing their everyday tasks. Carrying on through the game will see you mastering these tasks more and more and receiving more rewards for doing so. My opinion, however, must also include the need to take your time in Paleo. This is not one of those games you should be trying to rush all the way to the end. At least that is what I grasp from playing. Because Paleo has offered me new friends and new ways to engage with people. The togetherness is real and I have had mostly positive experiences. And if I had been rushing all the time, perhaps I wouldn't have met such nice people. Speaking of people, let's highlight the devs a moment. Another reason why I would strongly recommend you trying Paleo if you haven't already is the fact that the devs are committed to releasing updates regularly. So far we've been receiving updates on a two weekly basis. We've been getting bug fixes, new content, new outfits and things to keep us busy. I genuinely love the direction Paleo is headed and I think if you're on the fence right now about trying the game, I think now is the best time. And the reason I think now is the best time is because it's still so early. There is so many wonderful people in this community and everybody's always willing to lend a hand. You can look forward to new content because the devs are keeping on it and you have a whole adventure right in front of you and loads and loads of decorating, farming, everything that I've mentioned, it's all waiting for you. It's free to play and I would strongly suggest you to give it a go if you're on the fence. But of course, there are still some things that I think Paleo could benefit from, and let me talk about those real quick. Recently I've been trying to cover a lot of Paleo updates whilst throwing in some of my own ideas and suggestions. From things such as a flow curse, glowing flow imbued into your skin or clothes. Whether or not it would be a curse per se is one thing, but just an idea of some deeper and cooler looking customization options. I spoke about adding winter to Paleo, which thankfully the devs have hinted at, which is amazing. 
I am very much looking forward to seeing what they do with the winter theme. I have also spoken about the idea of a gifting system, using the in-game mail to send to friends. My idea was basically, go to Jell's shop and choose an outfit. You can then gift the outfit to a friend of your choice, and they then receive it in their mail back at their plot. Just something to give people more ways of spreading kindness and helping others. And the last couple of things that I think would be worth a mention is, when you're at your plot and you're placing decorations around, I think it would be nice to also have a slow turn option. At the minute we just have the snap turn, and although that's nice and it does allow us to do quite a lot, I think a slow turn would enable us to go a little bit deeper when it comes to customising the things we want to do. Going forward, I think that the furniture UI should continue to be updated and made a little bit more user friendly. I do still think there's some improvements to be made there. And there we go! What is my opinion of Palea? Well, it's a good one. I think there is plenty to do to keep you busy if you take your time and enjoy the experience. I think there could still be some refinements too, sure, but it is early days right now. It can be a great addition to any gaming library to have something calmer, something more at your own pace, whenever you like. That's what I think works about Palea. So my opinion is if you are on the fence, give it a try and take your time. Look forward to more updates, the possibility of new friendships, and never feel like you can't say hello if you see me in the game. Thank you so much if you've made it to this point in the video. I care greatly about Palea, and I can't wait to see where we go in the future, and I would love you to join me. And if you'd like to support me, please consider liking and subscribing, because it really helps the channel, and then you can get updates on my future videos, which I will be doing a lot more of going forward. I'm absolutely loving creating content for Palea. And if you'd like somewhere to join to say hello, share screenshots or maybe make new friends, feel free to join our Discord, Zephyr. The link will also be in the video description, alongside another link to sign up for the game. Thank you very much for watching, and as always, take care.